surprisingly, a lot of people subscribed since that last video where I made fun of my very low 15 subscribers, even though I am very thankful. I, anyways, but this video is gonna be on my concept art for Void Cassiopeia from League of Legends, and I'm gonna explain my concept. Probably talk about a little bit about the game and how I feel about it or something like that. And so feel free to stop listening at any point because if you don't care, then you don't care, you know? That's cool. Real quick, there's going to be dogs barking in the background. I'm sorry. I didn't buy those dogs. They're the fucking annoying ass neighbor's dog who barked at me every day I come home. Even though I've lived in this house for basically my entire life and they've seen me their whole time that they've been here you'd think that they'd stop barking but they don't and they're barking right now it's it's wriggling so just by looking at the finished piece which is obviously not here it's at the end of the video Hopefully you're able to understand what I was going for because it is concept art so it's intended to be Like once you view it, you know exactly what the model would look like basically And you'll see that my back version of this draw my of my concept is pretty <laughs> lazy Because at that point I was like well, I guess the front kind of gives you all the information you need right but anyways, that's really important in um, concept art is that it's you, like it has a quick read and you quickly understand what's going on anyways um, so obviously cast has not gotten any skins forever and I'm triggered and in the forums I've been in the forums talking about this because I'm a triggered player and it's so sad to me because I do enjoy playing cast she's not like my main or anything but and I haven't really played her but then again I haven't really played League in a while because I don't know just I've been playing heroes with storm a lot though <laughs> But um, yeah, and I'm just a little annoyed that they haven't given her a skin. And so I've actually come up with three <laughs> concepts for her. Um, one of them was pretty bad, but the other two I think are possible, even if it's like another rendition of the idea. But this one is Void Cast, and I thought it kind of fit her because she's already kind of of a creature, and then imagining her being taken over by the Void, she'd become this weird Voidling creature with a voidish tail <laughs> and so one of the things that I really liked about this design or the idea of this is how her ultimate when she stuns people it she could have a third eye that like opens up that kind of looks like Velka's eye, Vel causes eye but it doesn't have to be obviously as big it wouldn't fit on her head and it like opens up and it shoots like pink light or whatever and it freezes and I don't know what the effects would look like really I didn't go that far, I just kind of thought of what it would look like. And another piece of this is that her armor or like her breastplates and her neck piece and her horns and all that and the things on her back and this and her spine, I just imagined that those were like growing out of her. It wasn't like armor, it was kind of like bone. Like if you look at the already the champions that are in league with that are from the void specifically Velkaz because you can see that in my during my video there's a reference photo on the side and I liked how it looked like that was part of them it wasn't like armor or anything like that and I wanted that to be in this because I thought it would make sense that a void creature would like produce that armor that skeleton to protect fleshy or weak parts like if you think about the functionality with Velkaz he's this super squishy creature that's just basically a floating eyeball but he has this skeleton armor around him and i thought that was really cool so i thought i'd try to put that in here i feel like i didn't do as well and logically and thinking about this more obviously the uh, abdomen would be covered with armor because that's where most of your organs are but you know league likes to have sexy characters so i just kept that and I feel like that's part of Cassiopeia because she was a temptress and all that, so I don't like to completely change the champions. I like to keep them similar to what they were. I mean, I could have just made her head a Velkaz eye, and that would be kind of interesting, but I didn't do that. I just thought, you know, because then it wouldn't really be Cassiopeia, and a lot of people complain about that. Even though I'm totally fine with when 
Riot changes their champions for skin. I think that's cool because sometimes I don't like the design of a champion and then this skin like completely changes and I'm like, oh, now I have a skin that I can play them on where I like the design. You know, first world problems, whatever. Okay, so this is the part where I kind of don't really talk about the painting. I'm just going to talk about League for a little bit. So if you don't care about League, you know, hop off. No, I'm just kidding. Just mute me. And you can just continue watching or skip to the edit. Or skip to the part. It doesn't really matter. Um, so is anybody else annoyed with how some of your champions don't really get skins? Like, can I just say that Ari has gotten four skins, one every year, I think? before Cass has gotten any and finally finally Zyra's getting this bomb ass skin and I'm so excited for that skin I'm definitely gonna get it it looks so good and I'm so glad because I thought that the Halloween bird um, skin was <laughs> kind of ugly and her fire one is so disappointing like the splash art looks cool and I love the art for it but then you look at it in the skin and they reverse the colors like if you look at the splash art the yellow is kind of like a primary glow but they did the opposite where she's completely orange and then the tips are yellow or something like that i don't remember exactly what it was but i didn't like it and then her original model looks great now after the update and yeah i mean it's just annoying and then people on the forums will tell me like oh well it's hard to make cast skin because she's a fucking snake and i'm like then why the fuck would you make this champion if you're not going to give him skins like don't make champions that you're just going to ignore that's so annoying and don't try to give me this shit like, oh, it's hard, and they don't like to force their artists to do certain concepts or work on certain champions. They need to be inspired. That's part of the artist's job. Like, you have to work with limitations, and they give you a prompt, an idea, a subject, and you have to work with it. And that's part of being an artist. You don't just like, oh, I'm just going to paint whatever I want all the time. That's not how it works. At least not in, like, the actual job force like obviously if you're working freelance and you're just like prints and like selling prints and stuff like that it's different and i'm not saying that's any less of a job i'm just saying if you're working in a company like riot games you should be able to kind of force yourself to produce good work based on a prompt or uh i don't know i'm miss i don't know if i'm missing the word but yeah and of course this is a free game so you know I could stop playing whenever but I like to give constructive criticism because I want my favorite games to improve I like this game I like the art and that's something that's really missing in Heroes of the Storm I feel like the tiny little loading screen art is not enough for me I love splash arts it's one of the biggest reasons why I still love League is because the art is so amazing to me and it inspires me so much so yeah I just ask a lot because I care it's not because I'm like this c angry consumer who feels entitled. I just want equality for the champion. I mean, my other, my main gets a lot of skins, Oriana, so you know I can't complain about that. And there's a lot of champions that get that get ignored, and it's sad. Of course, Yorick hasn't gotten a skin, but and they were waiting for the update. But I feel like they would have given some him, given him some before. The update but they had it because they probably hate him and also with like the ghosts and shit it was probably hard like they, they always say and i'm sure it is hard but god damn why would you make such a champion and that you can't even work with like the fuck and i think that's all thanks everybody for watching and listening if you did and yeah thanks to everyone who subscribed that's awesome i have like 60 now which compared to 15 and also i'm sorry for not posting videos but i really have not been able to because of school and i've recently been having problems with my arm and my back because i've been on the computer for so long because i'm always either playing video games and painting and it's been fucking me up and i'm trying to not die well i'm not gonna die but i'm trying to not damage my body so yeah thanks for watching and if you want to subscribe if you're new and yeah like my shitty art for more shitty art also leave more comments and shit i like that i like reading the comments even if it's your art sucks get good or 
I don't like this because it looks like shit. I don't really care what it is. I like reading the comments. Uh, or I love the nice comments, obviously. There's been a lot of people who've been saying really nice things to me. I just want to say that. Cut this.